Okay. The next step to disassembling the filler for sanitation is to pull the lower plungers. You have a detent pin here. You press the button, pull that pin out, pull the plunger down, slip the head off, and put the lower head back on. Uh, excuse me, put the plunger back up in its position. You gotta find the hole. Sometimes a little difficult, there it is. You just repeat that 12 times. The only position you can do this in is, is in this position. This is when there's no cams in the way and you can lower the uh, lower plunger all the way down so you can get the lower heads off. Um, trying it anywhere else on the machine is apt to be unsuccessful. little detail on that detent pin. You push the center button and it releases the detent balls so you can pull the pin out. Same way with putting the pin back in, you have to push the button to get the pin in. Uh, again, you gotta find the hole first. There it is. Always check your pin to make sure you've got it seated. Uh, it results in a pretty good crash if that comes out in the process of running the machine. Always check yourself and to be sure all your fasteners and detent pins are in place before starting the machine. There we are. Now these heads will go on to the cleaning cart. You can follow me over. Place on the cleaning cart, 12 of them. At this point, well, there's so at this point, the machine is ready to clean. What you can do at this point is you could start the machine up and run it while you rinse it off. There is a cleaning mode. You turn this switch, 
and you can run the machine with the guards open. That's why it's got a key, so you can take the key out uh, and just have authorized personnel run the machine in the cleaning mode. Okay, so there we are. Uh, that's all there is to, to disassembly for cleaning. Uh, one tool is required, everything else comes off by hand.